So, you're finally awake. She's talking to me. What's up guys, Zack Scott here playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and today we're going to try to make it to the village. I know I said I was going to make it last episode. Uh, it took me a long time uh, to get just to this point. I did three more shrines the last episode, so we've been making progress. But man, it really did take me a long time. Let's go ahead and jump off this. We'll glide on down. I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm going to try to just to... Uh... It's telling me there's something over that way. I know. But we're going to take the long way. I'm going to glide. Oh, you know what? I forgot that I have uh, stamina with this, so we should probably be careful. <laughs> All right. And uh, <laughs> I was just I was planning on gliding just the whole way. That was going to be so fun. Amber. Don't know who she is. Rock salt. There we go. So, yeah, this is uh, quite the glide. I'm going to take it this way. There's a, a bridge that I need to cross. And there's a lot of stuff I really I need to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and mine a little bit while I'm here. Uh, I, I don't know exactly what these are for, but I have a hammer, so we're gonna take whatever I can. Rock salt to cook with, right? Make my dishes more salty, right? I don't really know. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> okay, that, that's actually scared me, to be honest. It says there's a shrine this way. I don't know how true that is. But I'm just gliding. And uh, I want to make it to the village. The Kakariko village. I think that's how you pronounce that word. I don't know. And look at that. That is a big open area that I am skipping for the moment. I'm going to make it to this village. Believe you me. Is this, is this one of those guys that jumps out at you? Guess not. Alright. That's okay. If you shoot it in the ground, you can just pick it up right afterwards. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got a lot of ground to cover. And I, I'm sticking to the high areas because I don't necessarily want to, um, uh, you know, to deal with whatever's on the ground. Uh, but I'll tell you, this is the second bridge. We've already passed the first. And hopefully this is good. Um... There's obviously a whole area that I'm kind of skipping, but that area looks really cool, but I just really want to get to the bridge. Uh, not the bridge. The, uh, um, the village. The town. I wonder if anyone's looking out for this bridge here. Alright, we're about down. Hello, meat. <laughs> I hit his butt. <laughs> oh, there's a person. Another person. Yep. Hello. You're lost, aren't you? Oh, no, it's okay. Everyone gets lost from time to time. The Dueling Peak Stable is to the south, and Haterno Village is to the east. If you have a map, look at it as you travel. Too bad there isn't a map to life, you know. All right. Thanks, fellow stranger. What does that sound? I don't know, but there's clearly like a trail of sorts this way. We're going to make our way to the village. I promised you guys that. It wasn't so much of a promise as it was just like a, a desperate plea for help. No. Um, we're going to find out what's over here. That tree looks interesting already. Holy cow. What in the world is that? Let's read all about it. Extra, extra. Is that a person? No. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Shalaka! You! You can see me? I can see you! Oh, this is Hestu! This is... Uh, do you remember the, the, the towards the end of last episode I found... Okay, anyway. They were wanting me to find Hestu. Shalaza, Shalaza. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. Where? Well, I'll get them back. I think they're still under the other uh, side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back from them. All right, not not a problem. The priceless maraca side quest. All right, we'll get them. If they're priceless, we'll get them. This is a very awesome blade I just got. 
from last episode. So let's see what we got. It's okay, little doggy. My doggy barked, I think. I don't know. Get ready, because we're going to throw this. Yep. Boom! People, get out! Ow, he hit me! Oh, jeez, I threw that not in the right direction. I don't know where it was. Help! Where are the maracas? Ow! Stop it! My goodness. I hope those are them, by the way. All right, lots of stuff on the ground here. Um, Maracas must be over here. Or at least they hope they are. Uh, not that. Actually, hold on. I blew up a tree! Whoa. Okay, there's an area over there. Hold on. I need to mark that for sure because that's a that's a new area that I've never been. And then up here we have uh, this chest for these maracas here. I, th I hope Hestu's maracas, Hestu's beloved maracas. He's been shaking them since he was two years old. Let's go give them to Hestu then. And I need to eat. Honestly, I do. Let's check and see what we have here. We have uh, a couple of these. There we go. Roasted base, baby. Base down low. I got your maracas, buddy. I hope you can appreciate them. Because I got them just for you, okay? Hestus. Maracas. Yeah, we got them. Here we go. Shalakala! Those are those are my maracas. Please give them to me. There you go, buddy. You can have them. I don't have any desire to hold on to them myself. Shalaka. But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seed inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? I have one. If I ha oh, I do have one. If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. Guess what? I do have one. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. I have one Korok seed. This is exciting. I have one, by the way. The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. I never thought I'd be the target of uh, of their pranks, Shoko. Sniff. But wait, do you have a Korok seed? I have one. You do. You got a Korok Seed from one of the forest children? If you'll give me just one Korok Seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes, please. This is fantastic. Shalaka! So what stash do you want more slots in? Uh, weapon stash. Oh, yeah. Kool-Aid man right there. Shaky Shaka. Shaky Shaka. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I love this. I love this. There we go. Is it just one more slot? You gotta be joking. Was it just one more? Just one more? Come on. Your weapon stash has been expanded. Shalaka. I'll be here a little while. So if you find more Korok seeds, bring them to me. Okay. Uh, so, so, okay, what? what? Do you, can you tell me where they are? Or no, I just gotta find them on my own. There is a, uh, there is a, uh, uh, a shrine over there. Should I go do it first, or should I find the village? I know I've been putting off this, putting off this village, but finding this guy has, like, reinvigorated me. I, I, I kind of want to find some more, get some more inventory slots. Expanded? That is awful far away, right? But we don't want to leave it behind. Jiminy Kringles. Let's run over to it really quick. Uh, then I'll go to the town. 
if I have time. I, I'm. It's just that there's so much to do. What is this? Amaranth, the toughest medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. That's cool. Hyrule herb, this plant, uh, healthy herb, grows abundantly in the plains of Hyrule. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. This is absolutely wonderful, guys. All right, so where are we going? All the way over there. I mean, there is a shrine, guys. We want to do it. We want to get it into fast travel mode. Then we'll come back. It's not a big deal. Anyone watching over this bridge? Kakariko Bridge. We're close. Is that a chest? Is that a chest? No. It's nightshade. Blue nightshade. But I thought the stump was a chest, but it's just a stump. After all. Hmm. Let's see what's this way really quick. No one's really hanging out on this, are they? Mm. Nah, no need. I was going to say I'm skipping stones, but that's okay. There is a shrine over here. There's someone on a horse. I want my own horse. Hey. Try nearby. I know. I'm almost there. Hmm, what to eat? I don't know. I'm just so tired of this color. Maybe I'll visit the dye shop in Hatino Village to refresh my look. You look good. I know. We're almost there, right? We're on the right path, right? There's a lot of stuff over here. I'm glad this is like a friendlier area. There's a bunch of horsies over here. Is that something I want to do so I can travel better? Is this for an arrow? Do I shoot that? Indeed. Oh, jeez. The chest. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we'll get it. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get this. Open sesame. Opal. Okay, not a big deal. It's just opal. But they're... they're I hear music. Oh, here we go. We're going to be off over here, aren't we? Okay, so this is an area that I passed up last time. When I flew over everything, now I'm just backtracking. There's all sorts of things around here. Maybe let's check this out. This looks like a very festive place. Then we'll go to the shrine. So maybe this is uh, oh, this is like a miniature Dueling Peak stable. Come on over. Yeah. Hey, I don't believe I made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call... Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But even if you forgot forgot my face, you can remember me by my Beetle-shaped backpack. Yeah, yeah. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. <laughs> I don't know why I gave him that accent. All right. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price or my name's not Beetle. <laughs> I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in the, if you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? What have you got? I'm sure I'll have something you'll find useful. Please take a look. Restless cricket. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't need any of this stuff. I pretty much have everything except for the. Well, I guess for the cricket. Uh, look at what I've got, baby. What do you want to sell? I want to sell everything. The ancient stuff don't sell. Uh, what about this stuff? The opal. Those are. I mean, those are pretty good, right? I think these are just to sell. Diamond 500? Ugh. All right, Topaz. What do I have multiple of? A sapphire, I can sell one of these. Here we go. One. That sounds great. I have a lot more rupees. Why, why do I need to sell this stuff? Okay, I don't need anything else. I, I wanna just go, I don't know. This is definitely something. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought there. I've been doing rigorous research day and night to figure out the mystery of that blood moon. You don't know it? That's, inc that's inexcusable. Listen up, and I'll tell you about it. 
For 100 years now, every so often when this clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and a full moon rises. At that moment, monsters that had been previously defeated will come back to life. Oh. And that's what's known as the blood moon. Why do monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answers to those questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. Huh. If you learn anything about the blood moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. All right. Please don't let me forget that. That's an important thing. Whoa! Oh, they're talking. What's up? Prison says, I got a scoop on Misko's treasure, and it's great. Listen up, Dak. Prison, hang on. Yeah, I'm here. I'm just listening. Not a big deal. Hey, buddy, what's your problem? You aren't being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? We're treasure hunters on the trail of the of our latest score, the treasure of the great bandit Misko. It's as good as ours. Huh? Prison, you're going to give it all away. Ah. Sorry, Doc. I got carried away. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. If you need something, take it up with someone else. Well, they seem pretty busy. What is up, my friend? Hi. Welcome. Will you be staying with us? A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees, and a soft bed is 40. What's the soft bed? Oh. The soft bed is a special bed we're proud to offer here at the stable. It costs more than a regular bed, but you'll wake up more energized. Will you be staying with us? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I, there's a shrine just down, down the street that I need to go visit. That makes more sense to me. And there it is. You can see it. It's just right. What? I, I don't need directions. I didn't realize there were so many people here. Good evening. Don't see a whole lot of travelers passing through here. You know how, it's a stable. Who would be here except for travelers? What are you talking about? You know how, with how peaceful it is around here? It's sometimes easy to forget that the world almost ended years ago, but there are still monsters wandering around and, and the area near Hyrule Castle is especially dangerous. If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. Elixirs? You can make elixirs by mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. Most of them are no good for refilling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Some elixirs can increase your speed. Others raise your resistance to extreme temperatures. Oh. I'm actually impressed that you've made it this far without any knowledge of elixirs. I can't have it in my conscience if something happens to you from here, so I'll give you one of mine. I got a hasty elixir. Grants a low-level haste effect, which boosts your movement speed while running, swimming, or climbing. Very cool. Using a hasty elixir increases your run speed, so use it to escape from enemies or any time I need to hurry. Oh, so I use it. Okay. The recipe is just a high-tail lizard and monster parts, so I usually have a stock of 10 or so on hand. Good for you. I don't, I guess. I, I should, maybe. Um, hello, little kids. Er, I'm feeling so sleepy all of a sudden. Okay, yeah, it's nighttime. I'm collecting things. I'm a collector. They call me Collectosaurus Rexer. That's a doge. All right, so we get the idea. At least I think we do, right? Maybe, I don't know if I have any insects, but we have, uh, you know what, let's make some, let's cook some meals here because we, we have the opportunity right now. Uh, no, never mind. we're not gonna sit. We're gonna go ahead and, and look at our inventory. And, uh, you know, we, we can make, that, that one meal is something spicy, like a fish and a meat, right? So we do a spicy pepper, hold it, Along with a, uh, a, a base, <laughs> no, a bass, and how about raw meat? Was this the item that we, uh, that we had here? Cook. Was that the item that, uh, that he would have given me the warm doublet over, but he gave it to me anyway? <laughs> Spicy meat and seafood fry. Wow, that is five hearts. Low level cold resistance. Amazing. That was really cool. Um, no, never mind on that. Let's keep cooking, because I like cooking. This is definitely one of my hobbies. So, an ins I don't think I have insects, honestly. Um, what's the rock salt? Uh, let's use rock salt, hold, and let's use raw meat. Like salted meat. I love that. Let's make salted meat. It's like my favorite dish. IRL. It's dancing. It's a new recipe. I don't know. Salted grilled meat. Another five stars. Or five hearts. Very cool. Let's uh, do that again because I'm having fun experimenting with this. 
monster parts and what do we have here blue nightshade stealth mm. Moblin horn ooh Ooh, okay. Mighty Carp. All right, let's do, uh... Let's only cook this iron shroom. I, I want to see what happens if I just cook it. Tough Mushroom Skewer. Grants a low-level defensive boost for 50... Okay, that's interesting. I'm sure there's a lot of recipes. What is this? Stamina. Uh, movement speed. Stamina. So what do we got here for real? Um... Let's hold that and let's uh, cook it with, uh, I don't even know. Um, let's cook it with a mushroom. I don't know if this is going to do anything. But I'm curious, obviously. Nothing. Okay. Dubious food. It's too gross to look at. A bizarre smell. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Anyway, let's go. I know. Let's go do this. We, we've been here for a while. Let's go ahead and do this shrine. See what's up. Ah, this is a life. That shrine only recently started glowing, but it's been there for something like 10,000 years. It sometimes feels like there's a shrine sleeping behind every hill, so there's so many of them. Archaeologists get pretty fired up hunting down each one of them, but I haven't got time for mysteries. Still, looking at that glowing light, you do start seeing something romantic about the whole, whole endeavor. Agreed. We see eye to eye on that. Ha, uh, oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? What the heck? What do I, what? Oh, hold on. Oh boy. Uh, okay, let's try something different. Wow. How do I get in? Oh boy, this is not good. I, I had it. Oh, you know what? I got it. Here we go. This is how. Alright, I figured it out. I, I thought for a second that I'm in. That's not so bad, right? I thought for a second I came all the way here for no reason, but now there is indeed a reason to be here. And I found it, and here we go. We're going in. We're going to see what this shrine's all about. Oh, no. Perfect guard. Oh, yeah, I always forget to guard. I always do. Like, always. Always! Alright. I'm ready. Alright. To who sets foot in the shrine, I am Ha Daramar. In the name of the goddess Haile, I offer this trial. We got the water guides. Interesting. Okay. The water guides trial. So is this just like, uh, you know, make one of these things, climb it? I mean, because I can do that, obviously. Can I do it from the side? That'd be so. Oh my gosh, it's so cool already. Here we go. Uh, I like it. I like it. Sideways water action. Are there any chests? Oh, there is a chest. Hold on. All right, let's do this. Oh my God. All right, this is safe. This is safe. Okay, not really. 
I guess I have to line it up perfectly to make a wall and climb it or something. I don't know. Okay, yeah, this is great. Shatter. All right, that's, that's it, right? There we go. That's good. And then there's a chest for us. Open it up. What do we got? This is a purple rupee, 50 rupees. That's awesome. <laughs> I almost died. All right, so this, on the other hand, this is, oh my gosh, this is a real puzzle. This is no joke. What the heck is this? This is not a joke. No one is joking about this. Okay, don't die. I only have one and a fourth heart left. That's not nearly enough, but let's not joking kid ourselves. Oh, wow. All right, hold on. No, that's not it. Shatter. That's not exactly it, but let's see how the, the boulder reacts to that, just out of curiosity. Great. Nailed it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Is that gonna work? Like I said, nailed it, right? Okay, one more. All right, there's another one for it. I know this feels a little slow to it, but this is the way to go. Yes! Oh my goodness. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, I'm glad I came back this way. This is awesome. So we head over here. We got our head over heels. Look at this guy. These guys are getting like more and more mysterious, all covered up and whatnot. Let's take a peek at them. All right, we understand. Skip. All right, Spirit Orb, we did it. Good job. I don't know if four is enough to travel to wherever to get another uh, upgrade or what it was last time. May the goddess smile upon you. Thank you so much. I hope I'm in the right spot to be able to just take off and go. But I don't know. Pools of malice. Ooh. All right, we made it out, and the uh, the the spiky grass all around it is gone. Very cool. And I'm healed, by the way. So congratulations to me. Uh, now I guess I will head forward. I mean, I don't know. It seems like the, the best option to head forward, right? All right. Good stuff. Looking all around. Good stuff, though. I'm just taking a peek. I, I never know what's going to happen. Hey, horsies. Come on, horsies. Let me ride you. Oh, jeez. All right, fine. If you don't want to ride me, then don't ride me. Fine, that's your choice. My choice has nothing to do with this. We're going to cross this bridge again. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. What's with the music? Kakariko Bridge is here. Run through, is it just that it's nighttime? I don't even know. All right, nice, so far so good. I am indeed enjoying this gameplay. And 
what is that over there? Is it anything? Is it someone asleep? What is that? Or just a meat of sorts? Uh, uh, ah! Dang it! Well, now I'm mad. Got him. Raw meat for me, baby. All right. Well, are we off on our way or what? Because we got a long, long way to walk, if that's true. Um, it's almost, it's 3.45 in the morning, but there's already the sun coming up somehow. How did that even happen? And there's my guy, there's my dude. Uh, no, how about you use arrows? Gotcha. Gotcha, raw meat again. Hey, buddy. I don't have anything brand new for you, but I'm having a lot of fun going through this. When we circle around, when we go over to the left, uh, we will be approaching the city that we're that we're destined to, to arrive at. So hopefully that goes really well for us. Hold up, we need to uh, get a hammer here and bash it open. For for mining purposes, come on. Where where is the hammer? There it is. It's okay. Rock salt and flint. Nice. All right, and then, uh, all right, we're, we're still fine, I guess. We're fine. Let's go. I don't know what, what I'm looking out for, but this is a long journey, a nice path. <laughs> I like how I can take these guys on. It's great. Take it already. There's a person. I'm going to shoot the person and collect their meat, too. Not really. I think we're almost there to Kakariko Village. All right. Bug it. Climbing cliffs is a challenge on a rainy day, even for an old hand like me. Uh, best to just wait on the rain on those days. I'm selling a few things I picked up on my travels. Doesn't cost a look. I'll take a look. Oh. This is my finest stuff. Ingredients guaranteed to give you a boost of vigor when you're out on the road. Uh, Rhino beetle, what do you think? Do you think we should take that? I don't know how to get these insects. I'm, I'm just going to turn it down. I don't want to buy anything too crazy. I just want to go. I think we'll be fine. I hope there are merchants back in the area because, I mean, like, I don't know what else to do. What is this puzzle? Is this a puzzle? This is... Look. Look. It seems like it... Hold on. Nice. One of these guys. Okay. Hello. Yeah, ha, ha, you found me. Got another Korok seed, so I get to expand my inventory again next time. But I don't want to backtrack all the way yet. But he's like, bye bye. I'm like, hello. All right. So if I want to go back and talk to him, probably I can expand my inventory again. But for now, I just want to get to the village. I mean, really, this is like the kind of the funniest thing about it is that I've, I've wanted to get here for a long, long time. And it's taking me just as long as well. Very good. Uh-oh. Is there another shrine somewhere? Where is it? Where is it? All right, we're gonna climb. I don't know if this is the way, but if the game is telling me this is the way, then yeah, let's go. I guess, right? I don't know where it could be, honestly. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting so close. This climbing thing definitely uh, really takes a toll after a while. Oh, there it is. All right, so we might do this before the village. Oh, never mind. We're in the village. This is great. I'll go ahead and mark it just so we know. Uh, go ahead and... Uh... Here we go. Kakariko Village. What do we do? Well, we go explore this beautiful place for sure. 
All right, I took a quick break, but I'm back. This is Kakariko Village, and uh, I wanted to go ahead and leave this, put this in this video, so here we are. And uh, I guess we just jump on down in here. Here we go. And we float down. There's a campfire. There's a person under there, isn't there? Hello! Ouch. Oh my gosh, what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong? Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle, says Nana. Oh no, hmm, let's see here. What, what's wrong? I'm sorry you had to see me like that. But what happened? Say, Traveler. What, say what? Where did you get that object hanging from your waist? Well, you see, I'm gonna tell her a story. Well, you see, she's gonna listen. She's like, oh yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Perfect, makes sense. Ah, uh, yes, I see, it does make sense. Yes, I see. That chicken slate is a symbol. It means you are a hero of legend. Though there are few who know of such legends anymore, but we Sheikah have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet with our leader, L Lady Impa. Where is she? There she is. Lady Impa's house is below Lantern Falls, just over there. Oh. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you. <laughs> I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. Well, I've been asleep for most of that time. There was a... A shiny object over here. Let's go ahead and grab it really quick. Let's just, oh, never mind. Tree branch. Nope, don't want it. There is a, uh, I know there's like a, sh a shrine up there, but first we're gonna go ahead and go this way. Uh, oh, hey, let's go in this house. Chickens! Let's go in this house, see what's inside. It's an empty old house. What am I doing here in this empty old house? We should probably go see uh, who she wanted me to see right off the bat. But here's another house. It's uh, an empty old house again. All right. Oh, don't. I'm trapped. I'm trapped in. I'm not. Okay, we're good. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. We're open. Rain or shine. Enchanted. Right this. Right this way. Oh my, what's this? Look at that face. You are totally my type. Hi. Whoa. I'm getting flustered. Oh, and you even have a Sheikah slate on your hip. Wait. Huh? A Sheikah slate? Isn't that like an incredible thing that only incredible people can have? I'm not sure what this all means, mister, but it seems you're a great deal more important than you appear. Well, don't stop flirting with me just because I'm important. So what is this place? Is this a store? The enchanted store? Maybe so. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Oh, lots of gear here. That, that looks cool. Highly in tunic, 120 rupees. Uh, no, never mind. I don't want to take anything quite yet. I don't want to shop yet. I, I want to go visit who I came here to visit, but these items look kind of cool. But let's go ahead and go visit who I came here to check out first. Or, Impa. Impa. We know that. Oh, hey, hurry. Coco is meeting father soon. Coco has to go. See ya, Coco. All right, so this looks like it, right? Whoa, huh? You there. Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's uh, uh, abode? Abode. Abode. <laughs> I think it said like Adobe. Abode. Hmm? Is that a Shiga Slate? But that would mean you are, no, it's not possible. Can it be? Maybe so. Oh. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Oh, we need an apple in this middle one. Is that gonna be one of those guys who comes in? Uh, let's see, I always do that. Okay, let's see, apple. Apple, hold this in my hand. Hold. And then uh, we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna drop it right in here, right? It's in. Is it one of those things? It is. Yeah, ha! You found me. It's a Korok seed. Another uh, another thing for my inventory. Bye bye. Excellent. Okay, let's go in here then. Let's go up and see what Impa's all about. Who are you? A man. Don't be so alarmed by me. Huh? Is that? It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? 
what was his name? L L I'm Link. I'm Link. Oh, no. It it it's not that I forgot. I I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is P-P-P-Paya. Oh, my name is Paya. <sighs> Phew. I got it out. I must be charming and stunning looking. Look at me. I look good. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been wa uh, waiting your return ever since I was little. Pl please hurry inside. Uh, what do we got going on over here? This looks interesting. We can go behind here. For no apparent reason. Okay, good. Good to know. Uh, but I will now go inside. Hello, I snuck up behind you. It's scary, right? Here I am inside. Let's see what's happening. So... You're finally awake. She's talking to me. Scary. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now. But you remember me, don't you? Do I? Ah. Okay, I have to read it now. Okay. <laughs> what is the matter? You're looking at me as though I am stranger to you. A stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one. Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Huh? I see. So you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Here I am. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone, she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting one hundred years to deliver the princess's message. However... These words, which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, oh. you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. All right, so we'll visit her later. I have no, I have no desire to hear the message right now. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's go. Actually, let's check upstairs really quick. Uh, maybe. We... Anything up here? Anything cool? Examine. Here we go. Oh, a diary. She just started writing it. Grandmother says she conspired with Princess Zelda and Auntie Pura 100 years ago. They decided to put a lone swordsman into a long sleep so as to prepare for a time that was foretold in legends. The name of that swordsman is Link. Since then, Grandmother has been waiting for him to reappear after all this time. I, too, pray that he awakens soon for the sake of Hyrule and for Grandmother's sake as well. Alright, well, I, I was I was going to go ahead and just listen to what Impa has to say, so let's go down here. It's no thing but a chicken wing. Oh. The words that the princess risked... Oh, yeah, we, I know. I'm prepared. I'm prepared to risk my life. I am indeed. Ha! She's laughing at me. Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. Here we go. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon. A primal evil that has endured over the ages. It's kind of from the trailer. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. All right. With the passage of time. Each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. 
So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. That was a really long time ago. 10,000 years. What? We were- Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. All right, and then more towers are going up right there. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. What happened to these guys, though? Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. That's the Guardians right there. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Well, perfect. What's the problem then? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh. A hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. Oh. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the prince has left you with the, these words. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. Understood. No, <laughs> four divine beasts. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Varudanya, controlled by Darak of the Gorons. The divine beast Va Mado, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. The divine beast, beast Varuta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora. And the divine beast Va Nabaris, controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. Yeah. It would be extremely ill advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beast to help you. You must infiltrate the divine beasts that were stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found located uh, by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Oh my gosh, this is big! Oh. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. Free the Divine Beast. That's my next mission, right? Mm -hmm. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research search lab in Hatino Village might be able to help you. Hatino Village? Yes, it's way over there. Way over there. Your location shining on the eastern edge is Hateno Village. That's going to take me like three episodes to get to. No, I don't know. It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. Locked mementos. New objective. You are Princess Zelda's only hope and high rules as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Seek out Impa. Complete. 
We finally did it, guys. We talked to Impa. I'll talk to her again. Oh. Is something wrong? Do not tell me the steel has slipped from your spine. I realize you have just awoken. I am not suggesting that you must defeat Calamity Ganon right at this moment. For now, you should focus on getting that broken Sheikah Slate fixed. Hurry to the research lab in Hatino Village. Wait, wait. 10,000 years ago? Very well. Since you lost your memory, I will gladly tell you as many times as you need me to. No! I don't need to hear it again! <laughs> oh my gosh. Skip. Yeah. The history of the royal okay. family yep. of Hyrule is Skip. Old. Sorry. <laughs> I heard it enough. All right. You, you get it. We we get it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We oh. okay. Thanks for watching, guys. We finally met with Empa. We completed this mission. And next time, okay, she's still talking to me. Understood. We got it. Next time, I guess we'll set out for that village that's so far away, but who knows what's going to happen in between. Maybe some more shrines. Last episode was a really long one with shrines. Oh, hello. Hi. I must protect the heirloom. Good for you. And good for you guys for watching me play this game. Up next, I'll explore the rest of this village and then uh, make my way uh, away. Maybe I'll do that one next, that shrine up there next. It makes sense, it only makes sense to do so. Let's go ahead and uh, place the pin up there. E yep, thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. I'll definitely see you then. I've been having a blast playing this so far. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott, subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and wanna help this channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.